Good morning, everyone. It is day six on our week-long Mexico trip for Day of the Dead. And we are doing our PCR tests so that we can get back into the States tomorrow. Kind of a free day, so we'll see what we decide to get into. Go, go, go. Made our way to Ryoshi. Do some uh, Japanese food. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I like it. I don't know why people love it. <laughs> <laughs> This is all pretty cool, an actual site like showing to scale Teotihuacan, really cool. Fortunately, we got here with only like an hour, hour and a half left before the museum shuts down. So we're having to kind of just pick the best spots um, that, that we want to see while we're here because the museum's actually really great. This is what's up right here. Okay, we did as much as I think we could do in like an hour, hour and a half here at the museum. You really need to leave yourself all day if you want to check this place out. There's so much cool stuff to see here. It is so worth a visit when you're in Mexico City. Unfortunately, we just didn't get here with enough time left in the day to really explore and do all that we wanted to do here. But we did get to see quite a bit of the cool stuff. What'd you think? I could, have spent, huh? I could have spent all day here yeah. with lots of explanation from you. <laughs> There's a lot to look at. But uh, I think we're going to head on out now. Um, we lost our friends, so we're going to go find them. See what else we can uh, get into here before our last day is over. Got all checked in, everybody? Hello? Yeah. For our flights tomorrow? Raise your hand if you have more than 5% left on you. <laughs> you guys are in charge of Ubering and finding out what to do and where to do it. All right, we made it. Day complete, I think. So the museum was really cool. What was the name of the place we hit at? Ryoshi? Ryoshi. Ryoshi. Amazing. Amazing food. Kind of wandered around, explored the city, had a good day. I think we are all in chill mode now. Is that the consensus? Yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. Unless we want our rondas at midnight. <laughs> so, I know I got some chilling ahead of me. Gonna pack. We're gonna wrap this video up tomorrow because we got like a half day. So, um, I'll have a little bit more for you guys. But right now, we're gonna take it easy and relax for the rest of the evening. So our stay here in the Airbnb has been incredible. I'm gonna drop a link down in the description so you guys can find it if you wanna stay here too. We've been right in the middle of the historic district and um, 
It's made it super simple to get around to all the things that we wanted to do. Um, getting outside the city, doing things like Teotihuacan, you can hire rides for that. Um, uh, and doing the waterways, same thing. Those are both about an hour away um, by cab. Getting an Uber from right here was a little bit more difficult, we, but really not that much. We just had to walk down like a couple blocks so that we were in a main square area where it was easier to pick us up. Um, <clears throat> Love the fact that we were kind of in this courtyard, off a secure door, off the main street, so you can just come in here and relax, know that all your stuff is safe. The place has a really cool homey feel. Our unit was kind of used as the home base for the whole time. Our group had three different units here, and our host, Olivia, was amazing. Thank you so much, Olivia, for all that you uh, helped us experience while we're here and making the process so, so, so simple and um, really just can't wait to come back here to Mexico. If you guys try this out, if you try this place, make sure to go down into the description below, hit that link and you can find everything about these units through uh, Olivia's Airbnb listing. All right guys, I'm sitting here with Paul. I'm gonna get his in-depth review of the last week that we've been here. Paul, go ahead. Is that... <laughs> There you go. So if you're thinking about going to Mexico for Day of the Dead, just just know that. All right, we are trying to get to the airport and we are in our same situation that we've been going through that I mentioned before in one of the other videos about making sure you get to a space and leaving yourself enough time for a ride because it could take like up to 30 minutes just to get an Uber. Um, and that's what we're waiting on. Our other group got their ride in there headed to the airport. Now we're just waiting on ours and getting all our documentation together. So, yeah, it's been a good week, but yeah, remember, leave yourself enough time for, uh, for a ride. It can take, you know, 30 minutes or longer to get an Uber. We're on a little side quest. Missed our drop-off spot. So now we're taking the train, meet up with the rest of the group. It's a very clean air conditioned train. Not too bad. Uh, yes. All right, we'll get there. All right, guys, this is the end of our trip. We are about to catch our flight back to Austin, and uh, <laughs> I think we can all say thumbs up. <laughs> so, if you guys are looking to have an awesome experience, make sure to check out uh, Day of the Dead in Mexico. It was a great trip. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. See you later. Awesome. Awesome.